Hi everybody and thanks for your tuning in. Um, I recently got this um, stamp by Art Impressions. This is um, their Zoo Babies. Um, this one is called Bananas For You and it's just a really cute little stamp um, with a little sentiment that says Bananas For You. Um, I haven't used it yet but I'm excited to try. I've got some just some plain white cardstock here and I'm going to be stamping it using some First Fine Black Onyx ink. Just making sure I get a good amount of ink on here. I just love that. How cute is that? And I thought I would go ahead and color this using my um, Tombow colored pencils. This is their Tranquil coloring set and it's just got some really nice light colors. So I'm going to go ahead and um, take my lightest brown. This is cork. I don't know if you can see that. And just gonna color this in really lightly. Okay, and then I'm taking my darker brown here. This is cinnamon, and I'm going to just add some shading in some places where I think it would be darker. Zoom in a little bit here. And I think that's it for now. Now you can just leave it as is, but I'm going to take a blender pen over my um, mark or colored pencils here and I'm just going to start on the darker ends and blend it in. Just kind of get that color moving a little bit and um, get it to look like it's a little bit smoother. So my little monkey is colored, I'll color it in. I am going to take a white gel pen and just add some little polka dots to his bow. Alright, I think that looks cute. So I think I'm going to leave it as is right now. Um, show you a little bit more in detail of what it looks like. You can definitely still tell that it's um, colored with colored pencils, but the um, blender pen kind of blends it out a little bit so you can, um, so it gives it a little bit of a smoother look. Now I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut this guy out. Kind of just getting as close as I can to the lines here. Now when you cut out your images, you can just leave it like this. Or if you want to um, kind of give the edges a little more finished look, 
You can take a black marker, I'm using my Tombow Mono um, Twin Permanent Marker, and just take and run it along the edges. And that way it will make the edges look more finished. You won't see any of that white that um, is sticking out there. So it looks like you did a perfect job of cutting it out. Okay, there's our little monkey all cut out. And let's go on. I'm going to set him aside and start um, sort of working on my card base. I have a few of these papers. This is from Simple Stories, and this is their You Are Here, I believe, collection. Okay. So I thought this green paper and these palm trees kind of went well together, and I thought it would look really cute with this uh, little monkey. So... Trying to decide exactly what I want to do here. So I'm just going to take a pencil and mark where I want to cut. I really don't usually cut in the middle of my papers. Um, I like to either chop up the top or the bottom so that I still have, uh, you know, I don't have odds and ends everywhere, but I really like this. Um, this little piece here for the front of my card. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. Okay, so I went ahead and I measured out some more pieces of paper. I'm going to use this um, behind my little uh, palm trees here. And then I cut the green paper out. I used um, this stitched journaling die from Lawn Fawn. I just ran it through my Sizzix to cut this little piece out. And I'm just going to be um, adhering things down now. Um, I'm going to use, for this piece, uh, let's see, first of all, make sure that's the right, okay, for this piece I'm going to go ahead and use Tombow's Mono Permanent Adhesive. Run some along the outside. A little strip here in the middle. There we go. And I'm just going to get this lined up. put this piece down. Oops. Oh, I guess that was the right way. <laughs> there we go. Run some along the edges again. down and this I'm just going to put kind of off center up on the top here so maybe if I want it I think I want to put it on some foam adhesive so I'm going to go ahead and cut a few pieces to take this little strip of paper. Um, this is from, actually from the back side of the palm trees paper. I'm just going to be using that just to um, bring in a little bit more color. Oops, totally put that on the wrong side. Okay, we will use this piece. I want the yellow piece so. Right. 
trim off this little end. Then I thought it would be cute to add um, a little bit of twine. So I'm just going to cut a piece of that and wrap it around. And then I think I'm going to put my little monkey right down there. So um, since he's kind of hanging off the end, I'm just going to put some foam adhesive on one side to help him be the same height. And then on uh, the other side, I'm going to go and put some regular tape adhesive. So far, so good. Um, I do want to use that sentiment from the stamp set. So I'm going to grab that. And peel off the backing. And now I have a cling stamp. So I'm going to put it on my stamp mount and then I'm going to emboss it on a piece of vellum. So I'm using my embossing bag and then some Versa Versamark ink to ink it up with. And I'm just going to stamp. For this, to cut this out, I'm just going to take this banner shape and run it through my Sizzix. And I have it perfectly um, aligned on there. And I'm going to slip it in right behind, just about there. Now that almost finishes the card, but um, I think I'm going to take some of my yellow sequins. These are from Doodlebug Designs, and just add a few sequins here and there um, to add a little bit more color. So I'm going to go ahead and use some of my Tombow Multi Liquid Glue. And just put a little dot where I want my sequins. There we go. And I think that finishes this card. So I know my video was a little bit all over the place. That's just because I really didn't have a plan going into this card. I kind of made it up as I went. Um, a lot of times when I do a card video, I kind of like to have things planned out where they're going to go. But um, this one I kind of did on the fly. Um, but I thought it turned out pretty cute. I just love this little... Um, this little monkey here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please don't forget to like or comment. Tell me what you think and hit that subscribe button. And um, I'll put links down below to my blog post so where you can see more details on these products um, and some more photos. 
So yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully I will catch you next time.